So, have you guys ever been through a period in life that has defined you? Have you ever had a period in your life that has made you reflect and made you the person that you are today? Well, I have, and I'm going to share that with you today. A period in my life that has now made me the carefreeing, carefree, risk-taking individual that I am, that takes negatives into a positive. On the 15th of November 2014, I spent with my family my seventh wedding anniversary. Late at night, I woke up and as normal, my wife had gone to the room, another room, because my children had woken up. And I turned over to the side of my bed and I sneezed. I sneezed and two discs slipped out of my back. I was in so much pain this period in my life started of pain and self-reflection. This was a time where I couldn't even pick up my three-year-old son. There was a time I was in so much pain that I was on the sofa crying. A time that my six-year-old daughter at the time came to comfort me. This is a time that she still even remembers now. After self-reflection, day and night, asking that question, why me? Why have, what have I done to deserve a build-up of negative things? Prior to this, my son was born with Down syndrome and I wondered why. And the answer came to me that this was a test from God, a test for me to come closer to him. And therefore, it began my spiritual journey. Today, I'm standing in front of you guys my name is Omar Rashid. I have had successful uh, back operation. I'm able to play with my children, no problems at all. I run a successful business. And I take the positives out of anything negative that I have. I'm also studying part-time to be an Islamic scholar, so that allows me to continue with my spiritual, spiritual journey. What I want you to take away from is if you have a difficult time in your lives, if you have come with any negative experiences, don't mull over them. Don't dwell on them. Don't ask, don't go through those stages that I went, why me? Take the positives, move forward, and take control of your life. Thank you.